hello everyone this is our lecture number 5.12 and uh, today's topic is clay roots equation and this is the last topic of module 1 so first understand what is clay, clay roots equation so obviously clay roots equation this is first order equation first order and uh, higher degree equation okay so let's write the def definition a differential equation differential equation of the form of the form y equals to px plus f of p is known as clay roots equation okay so this is the general form of clay roots equation that y equals to px plus f of p if you take a look on the general form of clay roots equation here you can see the left hand side is y and the right hand side is xp plus f of p that means the right hand side this is nothing but this is the function of f of x and p that means y is equals to f of x comma p and this is this y is equals to f of x comma p this is the general form of solvable for y which i have discussed in my last lecture so you can say that clay roots equation this is one type of solvable for y equation yes or no but the here the main pattern is you can you have to write in this form y is equals to the product of x and p and the remaining part that will be only function of p okay if you can write in this form then the equation is clay roots equation now what is the steps how to solve clay roots equation actually this is solvable for y now solvable for y so obviously the solution method that will be same as solvable for y so first first step is you have to convert the equation in the general form y equals to px plus f of p this is the first step second step second step is derivative with respect to x so derive derive with respect to x third step if you derive with respect to x so the left hand side will be dy dx so you have to write dy dx equals to p okay then uh, you will get two factors and you have to solve each factor okay let's understand using an example question let's take an easy example find the general and singular solution singular solution of y is equals to x dy dx plus dy dx whole square Here we can write this equation in this form y is equals to xp plus p square because we know that p is equals to dy dx. Okay. Now derive with respect to x. So left hand side will be dy dx. This is equals to p plus x dp dx plus 2p dp dx okay now you have to write p in place of dy dx so this will be p is equals to p plus x dp dx plus 2p dp dx okay here p cancelled so you are getting x plus 2p into dp dx this is equals to 0 here you can see that we have two factors x plus 2p and dptx and in my last lecture i already have told you 
that in this case you will get two solutions general solution and singular solution you will get the general solution from that factor which is containing the derivative term okay and you will get the sing singular solution which is not containing the derivative term clear so first dp dx equals to zero so if you integrate this you will get p is equals to c arbitrary constant okay let's say this is equation number one this is equation number two and from the another factor x plus 2p equals to 0 let's say uh, p is equals to minus x by 2 this is equation number 3 okay so we have here we have three equations uh, y equal given equation y equals to xp plus p square uh, second equation is p is equals to c and the last equation is p is equals to minus x by 2 and in my last lecture i have told you now you have to eliminate p from equation 1 and 2 if you eliminate p from 1 and 2 you will get the general solution if you eliminate p from 1 and 3 you will get the singular solution okay so from 1 and 2 just you need to put the value of p in given equation so y is equals to cx plus c square okay which is which is the general solution okay now from 1 and 3 1 and 3 here p is equals to minus x by 2 so y is equals to x into minus x by 2 plus uh, p square p square means x square by 4 so this is equals to minus x square by 2 plus x square by 4 this is equals to uh, this will be minus x square by 4 okay and if you simplify you are getting x square plus 4y equals to 0 and this is nothing but singular solution clear so for this uh, differential equation the general solution is y is equals to cx plus c square and the singular solution is x square plus 4y this is equals to 0 clear let's solve another problem find <coughs> the general and singular solution of the equation y minus px into p minus 1 this is equals to p okay you have to find out general solution and singular solution okay so let's try first of all this uh, equation is not in general form so first convert this equation into general form okay so the equation is y minus px into p minus 1 equals to p okay and we have to write in the form of y is equals to px plus f of p in this form okay so you can write this equation as y minus px this is equals to p by p minus 1 yes or y is equals to px plus p by p minus 1 clear now you can see that easily this is y is equals to px plus f of p form so obviously this is clay roots equation clay roots equation okay now differentiate with respect to x so this will be dy dx this is equals to p plus x dp dx plus p by p minus 1 okay so u by v formula p minus 1 whole square 
p minus 1 is fixed that will be dp dx minus p is fixed derivative of p minus 1 is dp dx okay or p is equals to p plus x dp dx plus from here you can see this is p minus 1 dp dx and this is minus p dx so p and minus p cancelled so you are getting minus 1 dp dx yes or no that's why i am writing minus so this will uh, the numerator will be minus 1 that's why 1 by p minus 1 whole square dp dx clear and here p cancelled okay so now you have two factors first factor is x minus 1 by p minus 1 whole square and the second factor is dp dx this is equals to 0 now if you solve dp dx equals to 0 after integrating you will get p is equals to c and this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 the given clay roots equation and the second factor is x minus 1 by p minus 1 whole square this is equals to 0 now from this factor you will get the singular solution now from this factor if you uh, find out the value of p so what will be the value of p first take uh, the variable x to right hand side okay so this will be 1 by p minus 1 whole square this is equals to x that means you are getting p minus 1 whole square equals to 1 by x so p minus 1 equals to 1 by root over x actually this is plus minus 1 by root over x but ultimately you will get the same answer and this implies p is equals to 1 plus 1 by root over x okay 1 plus root over 1 by x Achha, let's simplify this so this will be 1 plus root x divided by root x sorry Achha, I am writing here so this will be 1 plus root x divided by root x okay so the value of p is 1 plus root x divided by root x now uh, this is equation number 3 now from 1 and 3 from 1 and 3 you will get the general solution just you need to put the value of p in this equation okay so y is equals to cx plus c by c minus 1 which is the general solution general solution okay and sorry one not one and three this is one and two from one and three so y is equals to what is the value of p p is equals to one plus root x divided by root x so this will be x into 1 plus root x divided by root x plus 1 plus root x divided by root x whole divided by 1 plus root x by root x minus 1 okay now simplify this is equals to x and root x cancel so this will be root x into 1 plus root x plus so this is 1 plus root x divided by root x whole divided by 1 plus root x minus root x divided by root x so root x root x cancelled and this root x this root x cancelled so you are getting root x into 1 plus root x plus from here 1 plus root x okay so this is equals to root x plus x plus 1 plus root x so this is equals to x plus 1 plus 2 root x okay 
you can write this in this form y minus x minus 1 this is equals to 2 root x okay and if I if I square both sides so you will get y minus x minus 1 whole square this is equals to 4x okay and this is your uh, required singular solution which is the singular solution okay so in this way you can solve this type of problems clay roots equation so if today i have completed the full syllabus of module one that means first order first degree equation and first order higher degree equation now try to solve your textbook problems and uh, your previous year question papers also thank you so much